Anti-Trump protests continued across the country over the weekend, with high school students in Portland walking out of class Monday to also voice their anger at the president-elect. Trump has chosen right-wing figures like Steve Bannon, Jeff Sessions, and Mike Flynn for key positions in his administration, stoking fears he will push a far-right social and political agenda. Meanwhile, hate crimes have spiked around the country with the Southern Poverty Law Center documenting hundreds of attacks against people of color, Muslims, immigrants, and the LGBT community. Anti-Trump demonstrators gathered outside of a federal building in Washington on Saturday, November 19th to protest against an alt-right meeting, a loosely organized group that embraces far-right ideologies including white nationalism that have celebrated Trump's victory. The alt-right think tank National Policy Institute organized the three-day conference called Become Who We Are. Protesters, many carrying posters, chanted, Fascists, we will shut you down, and marched from the newly opened Trump International Hotel to the Ronald Reagan Building, an international train center where the meeting was taking place. On Saturday in New York, protesters gathered outside Trump Tower once again to demonstrate against the incoming president. Protesters chanting, My body, my choice, and hands too small, can't build a wall, blocked off a street and held up anti-Trump posters. Also in New York on Sunday, Hundreds protested Steve Bannon's planned appearance at the right-wing Zionist Organization of America conference. Bannon was a no-show. In Austin, Texas, there was a heavy police presence as dueling groups of protesters gathered near the Texas State Capitol grounds, where a monument was dedicated to honoring contributions by African Americans. About two dozen demonstrators held a White Lives Matter protest in the area. They were met by hundreds of anti-Trump demonstrators, a group many times larger, who chanted and held up posters, all under the watchful eye of police, many in riot gear. Anti-Trump protests have broken out across the country after the surprise election results that saw Donald Trump defeat Hillary Clinton and take the White House. For ongoing expert analysis of Trump's victory and appointments to his administration, go to TheRealNews.com.